Hello and welcome to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto C3PO. This episode, we will be finishing off Portland Island. That's right, so we just have one mission we're going to do this episode. And that will be all for Portland, forever. So, get excited, get pumped. So we're going to head over to Salvatore's and finish this baby off. Fuck yeah, whoop de doo oh yeah. My favorite cleaner. I'm proud of you, my boy. You kicked the shit out of those grease balls. I just got one little job for you before we can all celebrate. There's a car around the block from Luigi's Club. The inside is covered in brains. We gotta help some guy make up his mind and it proved a little uh, messy. Take it to the crusher before the cops find it. Well, Salvatore. Taking shit to the crusher is my specialty. Let's get this show on the road. And how fitting that we would finish the island with the same vehicle that we came here on. A blue Karuma. Wait a second, what's that? A pager? This is Maria. The car's a trap. Oh shit, brother, this just got nasty, nasty, nasty. And she wants us to meet at Callahan Bridge. Well, I guess I could oblige her. But first, let's just check out the car that Salvatore left for us. See if it really does look like a trap. I don't know, it looks like a pretty neat car to me. Can't really see inside it. Do uh -huh. Does have a blinking arrow on the top. That's usually a good thing. It's even pointing right through my face. Hmm. Oh well. I don't see any reason why we can't trust Maria at this point. So let's at least just go down there and see what she has to say for herself. I mean, why would Salvatore want to blow us up? It doesn't just doesn't make any sense. Or is he trying to get us kidnapped by the police? <laughs> Not that kidnapping is usually what police do. They generally call it arrest. Why would he sell us out like that? Listen, Salvatore thinks that we're going behind his back, so he was offering you to the cartel in order to make a deal. I couldn't let him do that. I mean, the worst thing is, it's all my fault because I told him we were an item. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Look, you're a marked man on the Mafia turf, and I've got to get out of here, too. I've seen too much killing, too much blood. I... Look, this is a friend of mine, okay? She's an old friend, and it's, it's so good. She's someone we could trust. Come on, enough of the speeches. We better get out of here before we get more hysterical Italians wanting less friendly reunions. I love that line, more hysterical Italians wanting less friendly reunions. I don't know why, it just sounds very poetic, but I will edit in the vehicle showcase for the reefer. We haven't done one of these in a while. See you in a bit. The reefer is probably the worst boat in GTA 3. It bounces about on the seas like this and it's absolutely atrocious. It has very, very slow speed, 
the only real thing it's got going for it is it's pretty decent turning. All other boats in the game, especially the speeder, are very slow at turning, and the reefer's got them beaten in that regard. However, it's basic design, it's unattractiveness, it's low speed, everything else about it is just really, really bad. I wouldn't recommend driving this for any reason. It's just, it's terrible. It's also, it's also pretty much a death trap, as whenever you try and set anchor down with this vehicle, the sea will often wash it further out with the tide, meaning that you will have to park it in such a way that it's uncomfortable, and also the rail makes it hard to get back onto the dock, causing you to fall in the water and drown. Asuka and I are gonna have to talk. Uh, why don't you go cruise around? You'll need a place to lie low. There's a warehouse at the edge of Belleville that should suit your needs. Come back here to my condo when you're ready, and you and me can have a little chat. I don't know about you, but Asuka's voice is like the sexiest thing ever, gets me hard like nothing else. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so let's have a look at Portland from the other side. You can see the trains are still running, that's good. Uh, until they disappear, that is. So everything's sort of rendered in uh, low textured goodness. And Callahan Bridge is looking pretty fine, actually. Wonder what that's all about. Maybe... Maybe there's been a uh, radio announcement or something to that effect. Who knows? Just guessing. News just in from the traffic desk. Repairs to the Callahan Bridge have been completed. Since the explosion, engineers have been working around the clock to get traffic flowing between Portland and Staunton Island once again. Really? Oh wow, it's been fixed. I am amazed. That is just glorious. The uh, the wires up there weren't attached quite properly, so let's not start uh, praising those engineers too much. But it's a vehicle showcase extravaganza at the moment. This time I'm going to edit you the Yakuza Stinger. The Yakuza Stinger is the gang variety of the regular Stinger, and drives in pretty much an identical fashion, though it may have improved stats here and there, most notably with the turning. Or that may just be a placebo effect, I'm not entirely sure. I am not the Grand Theft Auto wiki, okay? So you want to know that shit, you look it up yourself. But from just personal experience, it does seem to be a car that is more preferable to the regular Stinger. It's very fast being a sports car, and it's very good at going off unique st stunt jumps. In fact, it is probably one of your vehicles of choice for going off stunt jumps. It's also very suited for races with its excellent turning. The Yakuza Stinger is a brilliant vehicle, I recommend it completely. Okay, so let's just go for a bit of a cruise around Staunton Island just for a sec. Uh, I realise this isn't quite story related, 
but since we're now here, I thought I might as well show you around a bit. So here's the entrance to Callahan Bridge, it's looking all nice and spiffy, and we can drive over that back to Portland whenever we like. But why would we? Because this island has everything we'll ever want ever again. It's not my favourite island in the game, but it's a damn sight better than Portland. It's nice and flat with lots of long roads to drive down, and we will now get such awesome sports cars as the one I'm driving right now, which will provide you with some good racing capabilities down these streets. So we now have some icons on the screen showing us the locations of this pay and spray. And there is also a gun marker on the map which is for ammunition, so we'll just drive by the location there. You'll want to memorize these locations, or at least uh, have the map that came with the game handy with you, because the icons on the screen will disappear after a few missions. So this is all well and good, we'll drive to that warehouse that Asuka told us about. It's just down here. Got our very own garage, which is three times as big as the last one. And all the items we've earned on our travels spawns here as well. So, I hope you're excited for some more action next time when we play again this game. What's it called?